Hi guys, welcome to another lure painting tutorial. Today I will be using this holographic transparent foil. It looks really cool, I'm really excited, so let's get started. Alright, so first we take our stencil, we take our blank, and Make sure you remember in which, which direction the, the scales are running. And then I'm gonna draw roughly So now we also draw a mirror image. So we have got that out. Now I don't throw this away because you can do uh, still some fins and some gill plates and other little stuff. So keep this as well. Uh, you can still use it. Right. So I foiled this lure first because um, I want under the holographic scales. I want the I want it to be still reflective. So you get this kind of uh, shiny scales effect. I think it's gonna be really cool. So I foiled this lure first with just aluminium tape. I'm gonna take blue candy. So I shaked well. I'm gonna take four drops. Always shake well. This is our 40-30. Two drops, it's almost half, right. and of course thinner, you don't need to shake, I just shaked it a little bit, one little drop, just to make it flow better. Uh, I always spray the first little bit out because it starts here and your thinner is not gonna mix with that properly so the first little bit of paint is always a little bit of pure candy and it's a little darker than I want it to be so I just spray a little bit out first and make sure that I got the right color I'm shooting so as you can see it really starts to turn slightly blue Right, so we painted our blank blue now and we take our stencils again or our holographic foil and we're gonna start to put it on there. And then you work your way to the outside. Now I don't want it to cover the entire fish so I'm gonna Actually gonna cut out the head just a little bit. Just changed my mind on that. I'm gonna take this, put it on there, as you can see. So I get the same distance. Now I should have done this before I put it to foil on so I can just reuse this once for a gill plate or something. But uh, this I cannot use anymore of course. That was not so smart. I'm just gonna cut this to size. doesn't need to be perfect this way it sticks better and it's easier to apply perfectly straight well, that is awesome now I take something round I just make sure everything is stuck to the lure 
don't apply too much pressure just to get all the air out all right so now we take some opaque white and we're gonna cover the edges of uh, the foil and we're gonna paint the back white and the belly white and the head we're gonna paint white again Now it can happen that it loosens up a little bit because you blow air under there. I just take a little little bit of super glue. And that is not gonna come off anymore. Problem solved. Now as you can see, because I used candy, um, the blue is still gonna bleed through. You can see that on the belly especially. That's what candy does when you spray white over it. It's gonna bleed through a little bit. But uh, I don't mind in this case because um, it's gonna add some extra texture and uh, irregularity on the lure. So it's no problem here now if you want to you can take a wet cloth just a piece of cloth and make it a little bit wet and you can remove all the overspray you want makes it pop again a little bit more now before using the white you can also apply a uh, few coats of epoxy first to secure the foil and everything uh, and get the bait all um, evened out again and then start to spray your opaque white then you won't have the bleed through of the of the candy and then you will have a, a perfectly straight surface again to spray your paint but I don't have the patience for that right now and I just want to show you guys how to apply this and what kind of results you can get with this all right I'm gonna take some Chainmail Silver from Vallejo. We're gonna do the belly. As you can see it's a quite dark silver and I like the contrast with the dark uh, against uh, the blue. Alright, I'm taking some Wicked White again now. Um, and because the silver is not really showing any bleed through from uh, our candy that's because our silver is actually a metallic pigment and pigments do not take up well they, they don't uh, they don't let candy bleed through so now we can come back with our white again I'm gonna do some gilt plating so as you can see I'm not getting any bleed through anymore. My candy is perfectly sealed off now. Alright, back with some blue candy again. We're gonna paint the head blue. Nice dark blue. With a little bit lighter on the gill plates. I could go a little darker on that. Like so. And now I got this darker black. Well, I actually mixed black with a little bit of leftover blue. Now I'm gonna take this stencil first. Just want some subtle structure in there. Now I take my negatives. Place them on there. Like so. Take the other negative. So now you see guys how no matter how small the negative is, you can still use it.
like so. Cool looking gill plates. Right, let's put a fin on our lure. Gonna tape that on there. Now I'm only gonna do the outer lines. Because I just want a transparent fin. Like so. Nice and subtle. Right, it's time to put the eyes in. These were silver and I just sprayed some candy yellow over it. So there we go guys. Really cool looking lure. Now there's only a clear coat left to do. So guys, the lure is finished. Super flashy. I'll give you a close up as well. As you can see, it got it got a lot of shine to it. You can see the aluminium foil shining through. You can see the holographic scales. This thing is gonna flash like crazy in the water. Really looking cool. It's got a lot of potential here. And also because we used candies, you can see lots of diesel shining through on the head. And you can see the silver shining through on the, on the back as well. Which uh, gives a lot of depth to the lure. It's really cool. So if I, if I would have clear coated it first and then applied the foil on there, then I would have more depth on my aluminium foil and again it would be more transparent. So uh, yeah, we all make mistakes and we all learn from them. But that is definitely something I would be doing next time. Now if you don't like these irregularities, then uh, you can always use a little bit more super glue to get these folds out. And then clear coat it the entire bait first so you get much, a much more smooth surface actually. And then start using your white to cover the beginning and the end of your foil so you don't see the beginning and the end anymore. Then uh, the foil will be much more integrated into your lure pattern. Now you can still see the foil but it's not that clear and I don't really mind that on this bait. Because um, yeah I like how it looks and I don't got the patience for it anyway. So. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description below with all the materials I used today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!